What is going on guys? We've got a really exciting episode planned this time. We're down at Towering a Diesel Specialist and we've got some really awesome stuff to install on the truck. Let's go get this thing parked up and find out what we're doing. Ryan, how you going, mate? Yeah, good, how good are you? Good to see you. Mate, pretty impressive workshop we've got here. Not bad. You're the four-wheel drive uh, manager here. That's but correct. But towering a diesel specialist. You do a whole bunch of other stuff too, don't you? Yeah, we do heaps of things indoors. Uh, we do turbos. We've got a full-blown diesel injection workshop. Um, we also have a marine division and auto electrical. Which fits in really well with what we're doing this time. So I started to talking to Safari Engineering about a snorkel and doing a snorkel install. Well, it turns out Safari's actually come to New Zealand and set up shop here, which means they're carrying stock for the first time and it's blown out into a bit of a bigger project. So instead of just a snorkel, we're doing the full Armatch package, which is the snorkel, clutch, ECU, and exhaust. There's a few other little products coming later on down the track that I'm not allowed to tell you about yet. Let's dive into it. So here it is, this is a Safari Armax ECU. Been really looking forward to seeing this product in the flesh. It comes in this really cool case, which I'm actually gonna use as a camera box or something like that. Um, definitely hold on to this, but here it is. That's the big secret product. Um, it's its own piggyback ECU. So basically it uses, still uses the factory ECU on the car to control everything else. And then this takes care of the whole engine management side of stuff. So the first step in getting this ECU installed is laying out the wiring harness. Now depending on what kind of vehicle you've got, if you've got a Ford Ranger, 200 series or a 70 series, the cable length is all slightly different to fit that vehicle. And it's the same with all the bracketry that comes with the ECU. It all fits nicely for your specific vehicle. The connectors themselves are all OE connectors, gold plated, and um, they've done a really nice job with this wiring harness. You know it's going to last the same length as the vehicle's going to last. <laughs> We've got the RMAX ECU all mounted up in the car and there's a few little features that I really want to touch on which sets this apart from anything else on the market and that's the engine protection that it offers. It comes with an EGT probe which means it's measuring your exhaust gas temperatures all the time. If my EGT start getting too high the ECU will back off the fuel and stop my car from damaging itself. Same with in the morning when it's cold it's got a cold start protection so it'll gradually increase the amount of performance that you get out of your engine as your engine slowly comes up to operating temperature. Once it's a temperature, you get your full benefits from the ECU. The other option you have is there's a little ethernet port here, which means I can stand here with my laptop, plug my ECU into my computer. Safari Engineering in Melbourne can actually log into that remotely. They can upload any software updates or they can um, do any troubleshooting and fault finding for me remotely from uh, from Australia, which is pretty cool. So I can be down on the South Island, as long as I've got an internet connection, they're able to access my car. Morning, day two. Massive, massive day ahead of us today. We've got to rip out the gearbox, replace the clutch, and replace the exhaust. So let's get into it. It's gonna be a big one. Oh. And these turned up yesterday, so pretty stoked. Stay tuned for those on the website.
So here we go, this big red beast is a Safari R Max 1100Nm clutch. Now, for those of you with the 70 series, you know that the clutches, the factory ones, are quite weak. If you're doing any towing, performance upgrades, or carrying heavy load, you're going to have to upgrade your clutch. So this actually increases your uh, clutch capacity by 250%. Comes with a 20,000K and 12 month factory warranty on the product. And the slave cylinder that you come with the Armax kit makes your clutch pedal feel like factory. So unlike heavy duty clutches, we have that really stiff clutch pedal. The Armax one actually feels like factory, which is awesome. So let's get this installed, can't wait. Here we go, she's all installed. It's a three inch red back exhaust and it comes with a Safari Armex package when you buy it. It's the one they've used and developed all their tunes on and that's why we've decided to install it in our car. Three inches back from the turbo all the way to the dump. Of course, my vehicle's pre-DPF. So if I had a DPF in there, I wouldn't have removed that. The exhaust goes from the DPF back. And Safari has developed all of its tunes to work perfectly with the DPF without any power loss. So there's no real point in removing it. Also, it's not legal and you don't meet your emission standards. So definitely keep that in there. But uh, yeah, pretty excited to hear this thing run. Well, here we go. The old Land Cruiser snorkel debate, eh? Well, it can really only be classed as a raised air intake. And that's because of the split here and the way it joins into the air box. It's not actually watertight. So one of the main reasons we want to put a snorkel on is obviously for river crossings. But the other one is for that clean air. So dust free, clean air. Um, coming from here. So most modern vehicles that don't have a, a factory air intake, a uh, factory raised air intake, come out of the guard. Um, and obviously that's dusty, dirty air. So the other reason we're fitting the Armax snorkel is the sheer size of it. So you can see the size difference between the two. Um, and that's because of the power gains that we're getting out of the engine because of the Armax ECU. The factory one just wouldn't be able to deliver that volume of air like the Armax one does. It's got the cyclonic head on it, which is great for dust, but it also doesn't give you that air amp effect like the uh, Safari one does. So you're getting nice clean air. Um, a lot of people turn these around in the rain. There's no reason to do it. It's actually designed for the rain to come in and get spurted out the sides here. So anyone that turns their snorkel around, well, you're not actually getting the air amp effect, so I'd leave it facing this way. Um, but yeah, there's a few little modifications that we've got to do. We've got to cut the guard a little bit bigger to fit the, the larger intake. And the same with the airbox. We have to cut that a little bit bigger. But Safari supplies the kit for the airbox to seal that all up again nice and tidy and to make sure it's watertight. Now that the Armax package has been installed, we've got the ECU in, we've got the exhaust bolted up, clutches in and the snorkels in. We're waiting for a phone call from Melbourne and they're going to remote log into the car and actually install the tune. Once we've done that, we're going to take the car for a drive and then come back to the workshop, plug in the laptop again and send that data log to Melbourne. Melbourne's going to analyse that and actually check to make sure the car's all running right and the tune's been installed. So I've literally just loaded the tune up and this is our first road test to make sure everything's running right and to get that data in. So um, what do we got to do on this test run? So on this first test run, mate, we just need to get her up to operating temperature for the uh, ECU to start working as magic. Um, we always take him for a run through the gears just to make sure that all the data is reading correctly and all the sensors and everything have been plugged in right. <laughs> Love it. Yeah, it's nice, eh? Just the torque, eh? It just keeps pulling and pulling like a train. So you've driven quite a few of these. Yeah. Um, they seem to be selling, they're quite popular, don't they? Like how many have you put through um, your workshop now? I think we've fitted to 70 series, I think we've fitted seven. Seven to seven series. Yeah. yeah with, the full, with the full package. Yeah. Yeah. With a one 200 series and one Ranger. Yeah. <laughs> She's definitely got a bit of grunt. Do you reckon it's got more power than a DPF model? Or do Not, you think you just fitted more weight to a DPF model so you fit? I don't, don't think it's got more power than a DPF model. Yeah. I think it's just a different type of power. Yeah, okay. Like, you think because it's lighter? It's potential that it's lighter. It's yeah. also the fact that uh, it might have a little bit more response down low. Yeah. 
but not that DPS create much back pressure. No. It might just be the older dash, it might be the older vehicle, I don't know. Just, it's a real Land Cruiser, mate. You got it. Gotta just, love it. It just feels different, don't you? So coming back from the first test run with the RMAX package, and everything on the run looked pretty good. So now we're just downloading the, uh, the data log from the RMAX ECU and Ryan's going to send that off over to Melbourne and they're just going to analyse all the data and to make sure that the engine's healthy, everything's running properly, you're getting all the proper throttle response, full throttle, um, and everything's been installed right. So it's just downloading that now and we'll send that off and we'll be out of here. There we go, that's a wrap. She's all installed and um, pretty excited. So those of you that want to know the numbers, I've got them right here. So from factory, we've gone from 151 kilowatt up to 227 kilowatt. And we've gone from 430 newton meters up to 900, 795 newton meters. Now that's at the flywheel. And the reason why we're measuring that at the flywheel is because Safari has done all the R&D over in Australia. They've tested these for a long time with the 79s and all the other vehicles. And that's why we don't have to run it up on the dyno. As soon as you start adding big tires and changing things on your vehicle, of course, all the numbers will always be different. But at the flywheel, that's a standard measurement. So there we go. Nick, thank you so much, mate. Thanks, really Lars. looking forward to working together. And uh, Pete, it's been awesome seeing Tarangon Diesel Specialists and seeing your workshop. Uh, thanks for having us in. Yep. Let's get it out there.